How does this thing spread? In the show, there are currently three known routes of transmission. The first is percutaneous inoculation, which is a fancy word meaning bite. This is what we see the infected rat do to the research scientist. Second is through kissing, or saliva to saliva. And the third is airborne ingestion. When Carol and Helen make it out of the bar, we see a fleet of airplanes crop dusting the virus all over the land. Shortly thereafter, Helen and the other patrons at the bar succumb to its power and become one in a process known as the joining. Initial transmission is followed by a sort of incubation period. The heart rate slows, the body loses consciousness, and in a few short moments, one wakes up happy as a clam. Now, not everyone survives this transmission. For reasons unknown, some bodies straight up die as they go through this process, Helen being one of them. The happy takeover isn't something that happened overnight. After the first bite in New Mexico, the virus worked in the shadows, biding its time, secretly converting others, and taking over important infrastructure, military objectives, and positions that could compromise its spread. Zosha, or Rabin the Pirate Lady, states that the military discovered them which made them accelerate the process. It was only 30 days from patient zero until the entire world would be taken over. Carol raises an interesting point. What about people up in space or hidden away on a nuclear sub? Would they turn as well? Now, Zosha says plans were made to reach those people first. You see, when one becomes part of the joining, their consciousness and memories become part of a sort of hive mind. It's kind of insane. You have all the combined knowledge and skills of humanity that can be distributed to everyone. Think of it like Neo in the Matrix, who can quickly upload and learn anything. It's how Lakshmi's son knows the intricate details of performing surgery, or how Zosha knows how to make the perfect martini. It's also how these two kids know where Carol's hidden house key is. Because Helen knew where it was and she became part of the hive mind, now everyone knows. As for how this works on a biological level, well, their representative isn't even sure himself. He says it's kind of like a psychic glue capable of binding us all together. But is he telling the truth? And could these happy people be hiding a far more nefarious purpose? I also want to pose another question. Could there be others out there who aren't immune yet haven't succumbed to the joining? This would have to be someone so off the grid that no one knew of their whereabouts, and they'd have to be breathing air that isn't infected with the virus. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, and if you want the full video, check out the Think Story YouTube channel. You're goddamn right.